Yo, what's up guys? You wanna make extra money and you are good in the IT field. You're good with computers, you're good with networking, maybe you're good with web development, programming, whatever it is. Here's a couple things that you guys can do to make some extra money. I'm gonna knock the painfully obvious one right off the bat because you guys should already know about this, and if you don't, well, now you do. So the painfully obvious one that pretty much everybody knows about is social media. You know, start posting on social media that you can help people with the specific area that you specialize in. And a lot of times, if you guys are just specifically in that IT field, you know, it's gonna be like a lot of residential computer repairs, like virus removals or, fixing screens on laptops and things like that. And that's really easy stuff, guys. And it's really easy money. But posting all that stuff on social media and talking to your friends and family about it, that is a good way to make money. But here is the pro tip. And this is something that everybody should know. When you start talking to your friends and your family about fixing their stuff, they're gonna want it for free. And you tell them no. If you know what they do for a living, you ask them, do you do your job for free? And you see what they say. Under no circumstances should you ever work for free. Never provide a skill that you are trained in, whether you trained yourself or you're professionally trained, never do that for free. Your time and your skill is valuable. I don't care if they're family, I don't care if they're friends your time is valuable. You have to make that very painfully obvious. If they want their stuff fixed, they have to pay you. If they don't want to pay you, they can take their stuff somewhere else. Because what is going to happen is, something's gonna happen, right? Not, might not be your fault. Something might break, it's gonna happen. They're going to blame you, and you did it for free. Now you have to look at it again for free. This is just my experience. Let me tell you a story about what's happened before. I fixed a friend's screen on their laptop. All it was was a cracked screen. All I had to do was replace the screen. I replaced their screen. That's all that I did. I did not touch anything else. Didn't log into Windows, didn't do anything. I replaced their screen. I got a call three days later. Hey, since you replaced my screen, I have a virus on my computer. How come you put a virus on my computer? I, I didn't. I didn't do that. Went back and forth. Fine. I'm not going to argue with you. You're my friend. I'll take a look at it. This kind of stuff happens all the time. All the time. So make sure you charge money. Cash money. Real cash money. That is really the painfully obvious one and a real pro tip right there. Make sure that you do that. It's a great way to make money though. But pro tip number two is if you are specialized in any other area or even IT also, going to businesses, local businesses, and that means you have to show face, go step foot in every single business that is around you, every small business. Sometimes they need help and they just don't reach out for it. A lot of times what they do is they buy new equipment because their stuff is quote unquote broken or they will find, you know, they're some other local shop and they pay those people premium dollars, right? And you can go in and say, hey, I'm trained, certified, blah, 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 have a degree, whatever the case may be. I'll charge you half of what, you know, you're paying these people. That's how you can get work. That's how you can get legitimate work. And you get a lot of experience that way too. But make sure you guys are really skilled and you know what you're doing before you go out and start trying to serve as businesses. But that is really a good way to make extra money. I turn down that stuff all the time. I don't like doing it anymore. But the money's great, you know. You charge an hourly fee for businesses. They pay it because they need it. They need that service. So that's, that's number two. The next thing that I can tell you guys to really help with those first two tips is creating a Facebook page, creating a website, show that you guys are legit. And that 
honestly does help. And it's really, really cheap to build like some WordPress site or a Wix site just to show that, you know, you're a legit person trying to help people and fix their stuff and that you want their money. I suggest doing that if that is really something that you're trying to do to make some extra money and make sure that you promote that. You know, you don't have to pay money to promote it. Use your other social media accounts and stuff to promote those things. Get out there, word of mouth is great. So the very last thing that I can tell you guys that you can use to make extra money, if you know things about this field, especially like very specialized things, and again, whether you're an IT, a programmer, does not matter, making a website, more specifically, making a blog is a great way to make extra money. And you can use tons of affiliate programs that are out there. There's Amazon Associates and other great affiliate programs. But you just blog about the things that you do, the things that you've come across, and you link to affiliate programs, and you can make money that way. It, honest truth, I have a blog. I'm not going to link to that because it's more of a personal type of thing. But... I make money off of that. I just blog about little bits of personal things that I've done in the field. It's completely different from this. And I make money from it. And it's great. It's easy. And I just talk. I just literally type things out. And you guys can do that too. It's not very hard to do. But you're very specialized because you're in a specialized field. IT is very, you know, a very specific field. And lots of people really want to read about IT. And here you are watching a video. Lots of people love to read about it. So start a blog and join affiliate programs and link to stuff. It's extra money. You wanted to learn how to make extra money? Here's your tips. So I hope this helps. I hope this can help you guys make extra money if you're looking to make extra money. In another video, I'm going to tell you guys how you can make extra money right here on YouTube. So stay tuned for more. As always, take it easy.